just about set to go. Today's starting pitcher, Hogan Harris. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. Yeah, he knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the no defense do work behind oh, him. Well. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, oh. they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what one he's got ball, in this no one. Strike. Nolan Shanowell in now, takes ball one off the plate. In the air to left center. On Duhar. Pulls it down. One away. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. And so far this year, this has not been a very good offense. Well, in this day and age, if you can't slog and get on base, that OPS has to be at a certain level. If you're going to produce runs, give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well. Brandon Drury to the plate. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's back. And in one hops the wall. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Everything came together for him. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. So man aboard. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. That's, That's down and in. Here's someone, historically speaking, that prefers day games over night games. So I'm excited to see what he does in this one. Right through there for a strike. Well, he's realizing out there on the mound that he's got to settle in pretty quickly or else he's going to get hit hard in this first inning. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Coming home, fires it to the plate. He scores and they have the lead. One nothing. Comes through with the RBI. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. One gone runner at first. Willie Calhoun stands in here. First pitch, and he just misses. Calhoun, in his fifth season, batting in the cleanup spot, he joined the team as a free agent. Get you, get you. Check swing, he went too far, and it's a strike. One one. Here comes a pitch. Went too far that time. It's one and two. One and two. Here's a one two. Run around the goal. Swing and a miss. Throw there. Safe. And next for the Angels, Logan Ohapi. Edge of the zone for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. Man on second, two down. Foul ball there. Missed One, inside two. with the curb. Hey. Pulls the string with the changeup, struck him out. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Angels one and the A's nothing. Here in the East Bay, 
And getting the start for the Angels, number 52. Well, this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound. Hitters batting under 200 against him, and they're just having a hard time yeah, squaring cool. up anything, doing no, any type of damage. No the way. only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run. But outside of that, it's going to be a tough job for the opposing lineup today. Popped up. Settles underneath it. Makes the catch for the out. And time now to check out the A's lineup. This is not a team that's had much success driving the baseball so far this year. They have to rely on stringing hits together as opposed to scoring a lot of runs on homers, doubles, and triples. So it's hard to bunch runs together. And that's exhausting when your team is at the bottom of the league in slugging percentage and how much it takes, Boog, for you to put together a rally and put together a big inning. Just a difficult uh, thing to do consistently over a long season. So somehow, some way, somebody's going to have to find some power in this lineup so that they can have some easier wins and enjoy this season a little bit more. This is J.J. Blade. And the no, pitch is that outside, ball. ball one. Two out, space is wow. empty. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. The one one is fouled off. The pitch. And ball. another ball. Now all leave it up. Wouldn't chase that time. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Two down, nobody on. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And the righty deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. A's go quickly and quietly there. And it remains 1-0. Second inning Reading set to go. Game. Here's the center, the center fielder, fielder Mickey, Moniak. Mickey Moniak. Harris back to work. Fastball ah. for a strike. Pitch ball. misses inside, and that's ball one. Our umpire behind the plate, Jerry Hillsdale. High praise for Jerry when we talk to people around the game. Yeah, no doubt about it, Boog. He's very straightforward, very consistent back there. So most of the time, you're not even going to think about him. That's a good thing. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see them a lot. Yeah, Boog, they're all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think, over time, you can develop a relationship with them. That two misses. And two. two and two. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little that bit that's, <laughs> that's great count. the line and the pitch foul ball and it remains a full count foul ball left side he'll see another Struck him out. 
He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. And next for L.A., Zach Neto. And there's the strike. One down, base is empty. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Lene snags it for the second out. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. Joe Adele stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. After an inning and a half, it's 1-0. Back in Oakland, we head to the bottom of the second. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland, Brent Rooker. The pitch. Breaking ball, ball inside. Ball one. one and oh. Kicks and deals. Hey. Late on that fastball. One and two. The count. That one ripped. Moniak makes the grab one away. Batting fifth. The catcher. Here's the speedy catcher, Shea Langoliers. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That clips a corner. up foul territory behind the play. Ohapi drifts towards it, squeezes it, and there's two away. That is good. The first baseman. Brown. So here's Brown at the plate. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing them down. He's settling in. You got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, I call timeout, do whatever it takes. Two outs. Fastball in for a strike, and it's nothing in two. Two seam fastball has been very consistent. He's been able to throw it to both sides of the plate and some really good arm side run. Out to short. Oakland goes quietly, and one, two, three go the A's. They trail here, one nothing. set for the start of the inning. So in now for the Angels, the number 18. Justin Fura. The pitch. And one. that's in for a strike. 0-1. Oh that one oh. misses, and that's ball one. And a swing and a miss there. One two to count. The wind of the pitch. It's in and out of his glove. 
Safe at first, no play. We'll see how they score this. Leadoff man aboard on the air, and that puts your pitcher in a little bit of a tough spot right away to start the inning, not where you want to be. So we'll see if he's able to work around it and pick the defense up. Back to the top of the Angels lineup, Nolan Shonowell now at the plate. Rip to first, caught. Dives for the bag, got him. Double play. Man, those are tough ones all the way around. As a hitter, you feel you did everything right and kind of got robbed. As a runner, you're in a really tough position trying to read the ball and get back. And as the first baseman, it's a split-second reaction to catch the line drive as you're coming off the yeah. bag. But he did a great job of having the awareness oh, to know he could get two outs, not just the one. Now this is in the air down the line. And that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. And he chases that one. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. And welcome back to the ballpark the as we go the to the last of the third. And now it's going to be Zach Geloff. And the pitch. That's ball, outside. No ball one. That one down the line, oh. and it goes just foul. At the belt and fires. And right. strike two. One ball, two strikes. And he deals. Fights that one away, still one and two. And here it comes. On the run, throw to first. No, no, Close no. play, but in there. Well, he did all he could at short to try to make an amazing play and almost got it done, but good hustle down the line, and that's an earned infield hit. So up next, Brett Harris. Close ball. one doesn't get the call and that is ball one. Pickoff move to first yellow hey. dives back in safely. And a pitch. Ball. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Kicks and fires. Just no, missed. Number 12 in the on-deck circle for the A's. The Angels up by a run here in the last half of the third. And he walked him. Base knock and now a free pass. This has the makings of a big inning if they can get a couple more quality at bats. And the batter will be the shortstop. I'm curious how he decides to attack on the mound. This guy at the plate has been great hitting under pressure this year. It's early, but these at bats can impact the game just as much as they do later. Here's a chance to set the tone early for your team. That oh. one misses. That's five straight. Way to lay off that pitch down. Yeah. Best ball for a strike. Good eye in that spot. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. 
you can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Check swing. Did he go? No. Three and one. And they're all Ball loaded up. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. So the Oakland lineup turns over. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Lawrence Butler. Golden opportunity right here. And that's outside. And that's ball one. The opportunity for a huge inning exists right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. But as a hitter, can't be over anxious. That pitcher's up against the wall. Make him come to you. And that one fouled off. They need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something. But you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. The one two. Two, and two two walks in the inning already and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them that one to first there's one they get the out but the run scores on the twin killer it's always great when you can add a run but in this situation with the bases loaded double plays kind of a rally killer Here's Miguel Andujar. Grounded out his first time. Ground ball left side. Oh. And that's just foul. Harris on third with two out. And it's even up. Two outs. High fly ball out into left center field. Ward makes the grab on the run. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Three innings complete, all tied 1-1. Back here in the East Bay, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Taylor Ward. The lefty fires. That one is upstairs. Ward, 30 years old now, a former first round pick back in 2015 that one the other way Brown he'll do it himself leadoff hitter retired in the fourth and now the designated hitter for the Angels Willie Calhoun he struck out swinging at his first at bat And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. And now it's even up. Ball. 
And That's another ball. ball. In the air, left field. He's there. He's got it. And there are two outs. The catcher, number 14. Now the catcher up to hit, Logan Ohapi. And that's in for a strike. Pitch is in there. 0 oh 2. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. He goes down looking. And the Angels are gone in order. Still tied, 1 1. And we're back. And now the center fielder, J.J. Bladé. And the pitch. Out there to center. Nabs it. And there's one away. Now batting, right fielder, Forrest. Brent Rooker up next for the A's. He's 0 for 1. Just that missed. missed. That's the ball. All tied up. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. On its way to the corner. And that's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Ball. Two balls, one strike. And a 2 1 hammered, but foul. And the right hater deals. That just nope. misses. Ball. And it's 3 and 2. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Rips one to right and ball. foul ball. Righty delivers downstairs nope, and it misses ball four. four. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really now close bad. pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Swung on, belted. Monia going back. It bangs off the wall. Headed for the plate. He will score, and the A's have moved out in front. It's two to one. Play at the plate, and he's out. He tried for the inside, the Parker, and he couldn't make it. Next up for the A's, Seth Brown. Grounded out his first time. That yeah, one finds the zone, and that is oh, strike one. one. Two down, nobody on. Inside corner for a strike. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two outs. Swings and misses. That's the inning. 
So it's one run on one base hit, no errors, no one left. We're headed to the fifth. It's the A's two and the Angels one. Back in Oakland, we go to the top of the fifth. Here's the center fielder, Mickey Moniak. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. You know, these Angels just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. And a curve finds the outside corner for strike two. Next pitch is outside. Kicks and deals. A swing and a soft liner. That one gets down for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now he launches a throw over his head. Here's the shortstop at the play. Zach Neto, 0 for 1 so far. On the ground, two ball. Off balance feed, there's one. Back to first, and that is a double play. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. Here's Joe Adele. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Ball one, one there. And the 1 0. Just no off the inside edge. 2 0. There's a strike. A's leading by a run. And we're at the top of the fifth. On the ground right side. Fires over to first. Third out. And that ends the frame. of the inning digging in for Oakland Zach Gellar second baseman who this batter gets described as a homebody because he loves playing at home and historically his numbers back it up and the pitch and that is in for a strike going one Line drive to short and caught. Nice swing and good solid contact. That ball was smoke, but needed a little more lift to get into the outfield gap. Maybe a little more backspin. Brett Harris up next for the A's. He reached out a walk his first time. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Foul ball. One down, base is empty. That oh. one outside, and the count is one and one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Towards first, into the outfield, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. One down. Now it's the shortstop. Walked his first time.
Swing and a miss. Strike one. Oh, one. Pickoff throw. Harris dives back in, but they got him. I don't know if he was looking to go right there or not, but he was clearly fooled by the pickoff move. Quick feet, quick release over there by the pitcher. Really quick tag as well. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. That one fouled off. Not one even close there. Now one and two. To the right side. In plenty of time to first. That's the third out. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We're through five. It's the A's two and the Angels one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Leading off, number 18. Captain Here comes a pitch. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Right through there for a strike. One and one. In there. And so now one and two. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. And a one two. Chip swing. Go. Now we'll look down to first. No, he held up. Two two now. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Nolan Shanowell up next for the Angels. And now the lefty down the line. And a foul ball. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Nolan Shanowell, the next to hit. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Base is empty one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. The pitch. Just no, missed. Outside. It's a good take. Outside. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Harris on the move. He's got it. And there are two down.
And here comes Mark Kotze as he's ready to make a change and go to the bullpen. Hogan Harris gives way. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Now a right-handed arm out of the bullpen, Joey Estes. Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. And next for the Angels, Brandon Drury. That one finds the corner. Strike one. Oh, Movement wait. in the bullpen. Lucas Ersek preparing to come on if needed. Riding to the plate. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And now oh. one and two. Too close for me, partner, one, to take that 0 2 fastball, but for whatever reasons, he let it go by. He's still in the at bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. Oh. And another ball. Three. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Angels go down one, two, three. They're down two to one. New pitcher in the game for the Angels, Matt Moore. And this is his 40th appearance of the season, so he's starting to log a decent amount of work this year. Number 55, Matt Moore. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the DH, Lawrence Butler. The pitch. Headed down the line. And a foul ball. And now the 01. Ball. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. Jack Kachanowitz, the rookie right hander, is getting loose. Left hand batter waits. That's the ball. And that is cut on and missed. And the count is two and two. The pitch. Bounce to the right. And that one handled over to first. One away, bottom of the sixth. Now batting. The left fielder, Miguel. And Andujar. here is Miguel Andujar. Fly ball down the line. And that's a foul ball. And that one wrapped foul. One out, base is empty. Just no, missing missed. there. The now one and two. Out to short, Neto. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. That's a play you expect your shortstop to make pretty much every time. Pretty routine. Hard to tell if he didn't get a great grip on it or the mechanics on him just broke down, but that gives this offense an extra out to work with. Man at first with one gone. Stepping in, J.J. Bladé. And the first oh, pitch misses high. for ball one. Oh, 
Left hand hitter waits. And ball another outside. ball. Hit hard. That gets through. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Now battle, right fielder. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Brent Rooker will hit next. He's 0 for 1. That missed wow. by a lot. 1 and 0. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. one, one. Didn't recognize off speed. Thought it was fastball. A little bit out in front. The one one is cut on and missed at a pitch one, two, upstairs. Runners at first and second with one gone. And a swing and a miss. And now two gone. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a now good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on it. Two on, two outs. Swings through that. On the mound, you take a note. You see the hitter's willingness to chase that pitch upstairs. Get deeper in the count. Try to climb the ladder. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup, and that ends the inning. A couple of strikeouts with runners on. Sometimes you got to really bear down, and he did just that. Nice job of getting out of the jam and out of the inning. Back here in the East Bay, we go to the top of the seventh. So in now for the Angels, Taylor Ward. The wind of the pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. Slap the other way, foul. This one belted deep left field on its way gone. That was blasted to the moon. It's 2-2. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. And now the DH, Willie Calhoun. Fastball for a strike. Estes, a 6-2 righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a change-up, a slider, a slurb, and occasionally uses a cutter. And he'll one. That's the ball. Nobody on, nobody out with a run in here at the top half of inning number seven. Fouls one off out of play, back to our left. And ball, another ball. ball. Two two now. That's Down inside. Cool. This one in the air center field. Lede settles under this one, and there's one down. Now batting, Tetra, 
Here's the Angels catcher, Logan O'Hoppy, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And there's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Little chopper rolls foul. High fly ball out to left field on Duhar. Sizing this one up, two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And that one fouled off. That's ball. down and in, a slider miss. That's strike. a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Line drive, base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. You'll often hear the, the phrase, short to it, long through it. Yeah. And that's a great example yeah. of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. And now they've got some speed that's on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Neto up for the third time and takes ball one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Two outs. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Next offering in there for a strike. That's strike two. the strikeout slider got him for strike three so they even it up here as we head for a good finish to this one seventh inning stretch time we are tied 2-2 We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Jack Kachanowitz. He's making his second appearance of the season. Seth Brown getting ready to hit. The first baseman. Seth Brown. The wind of the pitch. There's a swing and a miss. You know, these athletics, no simply One put, strike. are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven oh. line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive no results. Next pitch way upstairs. Late right. with the swing there. Two and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the changeup and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. So digging in, Zach Gellar. First oh. pitch doesn't find the zone. Wouldn't chase oh. that time. A's looking to put the go-ahead run on base. Here at the bottom of the seventh. That no, one a little not. bit high. Three and oh. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if it'll walk ah. you. There's a strike. Three and one. Oh. 
Swung on, popped up on the infield. Shanowell in position, makes the grab, two down. Now batting, third baseman, Brett. Now the third baseman, Brett, Brett. Brett Harris. for a strike one one first pitch change up he gets a called strike you got to really know who that hitter is at the plate in order to throw that pitch again and again swing and a pop up no trouble here puts it away for the out and that's the inning and the A's are gone in order and this game is still tied at two and two. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Lucas Ersek. He comes on for the 35th time this year. Angels making a move for a pinch hitter. Luis Guillorme. He represents the go ahead run. And here it comes. That Good. one finds the zone. It's 0 1. 0 and 1. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. And delivers no, outside. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. Now it's the second baseman. Pitch misses, oh, and it's one to no. Right hander kicks deals. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Brings it in. Two up, two down. Up next to the end. The first baseman. So the lineup Nolan flips Nolan. over, and here's the first baseman, Nolan Shanowell. And there's the strike. Activity in the bullpen. Michelle Otanez up and loosening in the pen. Adams also throwing. Swings yeah. through that one out in front that time. Good Great movement on that sinker right there. It's right where you want to get it to get that swing over the top. All tied up, and we're in the top of the eighth. And the righty deals. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. Angels go quietly there. Score remains deadlocked at 2 2. Now into the ball game on defense, Kevin Pillar. He takes over and right. Number 12. And the batter will be the shortstop. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Ball one and a pitch inside. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance, and it slams off the bottom of the wall. Safe at second with nobody out, and that double has the go-ahead run in scoring position. Just about got it out of here down the line to left, so 
I'm sure he wishes he could have put a little more behind it, but he's got to feel good about that missile off the wall. Had a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. So the batting order turns over. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the A's, Lawrence yeah. Butler. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. And it's second. Line drive caught. Up next to open. No left fielder. Miguel. I'm too hard. And now here is Miguel Anduha. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Just missed. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Just no, missed. Just a slow ground ball this time. Tosses to oh. first. They get him, but it was pretty close. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. And now the center fielder, J.J. Bladé. He's been really clutch with runners in scoring position this season, so they'll have to be extra careful in this matchup. That one's in there on one. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the that's count. Ball, Next pitch is downstairs. Right, on the ground, down the line, and it's foul. Right-handed reliever. Struck him out looking with the off-speed stuff. He's in a tough spot. Had to make a great pitch. Did it. Got the strikeout. Gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. And we're back. We go to the ninth. Now the number two hitter, Brandon Drury. And he deals. Splits the plate. Strike one. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Pitch misses, and it's two and one. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. That misses, and a full count now. Taylor Ward in the on deck circle. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Up next for the Angels. And next for L.A., Taylor, Taylor Ward. Taylor. He's already homered here in this Ooh. one. And that's no, outside. That's Ball one. Base is empty one away. You're at the top of the ninth. That's oh, inside. That's now 2-0. Oh. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. 2-0 to oh, count. Here it comes. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. And the pitch. Left field. He's under it. And it's caught for the out. The batter, number five. Now it's the DH for the Angels, Willie Calhoun. 
0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. Misses inside. Ball one. Fought off foul. The 1 1. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. And another ball. Two and two. At the belt and fires. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Two down, nobody on. Battling here as he fouls it away. Still two and two after the foul ball. Two outs. Just off the outside edge. Logan O'Hoppy on deck for the Angels. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Grinding A.B. right here. About to see pitch number 10. Outside and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. When you go that deep into it at bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. Austin Adams gets the call from the pen. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. Go ahead, run on base. And now the catcher comes up to him. Logan O'Hoppy. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. Strike on the inside corner. Next pitch is outside. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. One and two now. Wouldn't oh, chase wow. that time. Comes a 2 2. Got him. Out number three. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back in Oakland, bottom of the ninth. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland, Brent Rooker. Well, one swing's a lot easier than getting two or three hits to win this ball game. You better believe he's going to be all in to hit the ball over the fence somewhere. One and out. In the dirt. And that is ball one. Action in the Angels bullpen. Carlos Estevez, the closer of the staff, is throwing. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. Up and in, two and oh. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Shea Langoliers, next to bat for the A's. The wide to kick the pitch. Ball four, he walked in, and that'll keep the line moving. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. And now, Shea Langoliers, one for three. It's interesting, he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. 
And a pitch. And fouled off. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Hey. Swings and misses. That One, is two. strike two. Fouls it back with two strikes. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based no. off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. Seth Brown up next. Winning run on base at first, no outs. Now on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Kicks and fires. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Outside, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Now, Seth Brown, 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. And a strike. He's falling behind in a huge spot, but we've got to do what it takes to come through. Maybe choke up on the bat a little bit, spread out those feet, whatever it takes. One ball, two strikes. In the dirt. No advance. Good job behind the dish. With the winning run standing at second, we're in the last half of the ninth inning. Now this is in the air down the line. A long run for this one. Nice grab on the run. Runner tags at second. He gets there. Winning run at third with only one out. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Two on, one out. Here's the second now baseman, back. Zach Gellon. And that one fouled off. You'll want. And that ball. one missing low. Good miss with that change up away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here. On the hitter side, nice job of laying off that pitch. Outside low, and it's two, two and one. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. On its way to the corner, and a foul ball. To first, maybe a two ball. Play at the plate, Out. and they cut him down. The batter, the third baseman. I think he could have had a better read than that. With the infield back and a ball on the ground, you're expected to score if you're going to go. To get thrown out at home plate, that's probably a bad jump by the base runner, but an excellent play on defense. New now, pitcher on now, number 59. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take okay. deep this season. You yeah. usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. So first and second with two outs. Here's the third baseman, Brett Harris. One for two. Right through there for his strike. And misses. And the count is 0 and 2. No balls, two strikes. Trying to send this to extra innings. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2.
Swings and misses. Struck him out. That's the third out, and we'll play extra innings in this one. A strand a couple. Score remains 2-2. Two -two. And welcome back to the ballpark. We're in extras here. So in now for the Angels, Mickey Moniak. Moniak. Here comes a pitch. That misses no, that the zone, the and that's ball one. The pitch. Center field. And out number one on the grab. Zach Neto, the next to hit for the Angels. Well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on, have the force at second first, perhaps getting inning ending double play. That's it. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. That two seam fastball is usually coupled with a slider away. And when a hitter's conscious of the pitch in, it's hard for him to cover middle away. And that's where a pitcher can really finish off that batter. Next that's offering misses, and that's ball two. There's a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. With the go-ahead run standing at second here in extra innings. Fought off foul. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Man at second. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Makes the grab, and there's two away. The battle, the right field. Kevin. Here's Kevin Pillar, struggling on the road this season. Better results at home. Big swing and a miss. Oh, one. Two down, go ahead, run in scoring position, and here in extra innings. Check What's swing, appeal to first. No swing, just held it back there. On a line, and it's into the gap. Runner around third. He will score and they take the lead. Three to two. Throw is high and over his head. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Now it's the second baseman. First pitch misses. Come on, Oakland. Fastball for a strike. Good eye Good in that ball. spot. Runner at second, two down. Ah. And a swing and a miss. 
Down the line. And a foul ball. Man on second, two down. Goes down looking. Angels get one on this double. And the home team down to run. Back after this on the show. Back here in extras, and a new pitcher on the mound in the bottom half of the inning, Carlos Estevez. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. Here's the shortstop at the play. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. And a pitch. On the ground to the left, foul, and it foul. goes just foul. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. Popped up to the left, into foul ground, sizes this one up, hauls it in, and there's one away. A couple of pitches and a quick out. The designated hitter, number four, Lauren. Lawrence Butler digs in now and there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd right I mean yeah I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure here's a strike at the knees and it's 0 and one and that's nope. outside oh. one and one to right no trouble here puts it away for the out and there's two away lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there especially with pitches that they see pretty well that was a good example he hooked an outside pitch hit that ball in the air to right just not with much authority so it's their last chance in this one Miguel Andujar up next for the A's That one finds the zone, and that is strike oh, one. Ah. And that's through there for a strike. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. One strike away. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Stuck him out. And that ends the ball game. The tying run left stranded at second. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll. And that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Players start hitting up and down the lineup. Never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs. But it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. A 3-2 final score in this one. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chavez. Thanks for joining us.